Everyone knows that I was the good girl. I did my best. This is me. I'm an anomaly. What's an anomaly? A deviation from the standard or a deviation from the norm. And how do I fit in that category? Well, I am a virgin. I saved myself 20 years and like, I don't know how many months for my husband. Even though that is an awesome thing and I am so glad that I did that. In God's word, he tells us to save ourselves for our future spouse. And I did. The world and the enemy tells me otherwise. It tells me to keep my mouth shut. Nobody wants to hear a success story. Who wants to hear from the girl that beat the odds and didn't have sex before she was married? Not many people. Um, when I tell people or when they find out that I am a virgin or I didn't do anything before I got married, they look at me like I have an eye in the middle of my forehead or like I'm crazy. They f it brings a shame on me that makes no sense when I think about it because I know I obeyed God, but the enemy tells me it's a shameful thing. He tells me, keep your mouth shut. He tells me, you don't need to tell them, you know, positive things about what God's love says for them because they look at you and they see a perfect girl. They see a girl who beat the odds, who is not like them or not like this world, and they automatically shut their ears off. The enemy tells me that what I have to say isn't important. The enemy tells me that my testimony is worthless because I haven't been through a thing. I haven't been through loss. I haven't been through grief. I haven't been through the pain that this world brings on people. And he tells me, why on earth would you want to speak life into somebody when they don't want to hear it? Because they know who you are and they know that you are a perfect person. So why would they want to hear that? It would just make them feel worse about themselves. And sometimes I get to the place and the enemy leads me so far down this hole of loneliness because I'm not like the world. He leads me in this place of darkness that really makes no sense, but it's where I get sometimes because I'm not like the world and I'm not like the people, a lot of people that are around me. And he tells me to just keep it inside. Don't tell anybody. You don't, you can't help them because you haven't been through what they've been through. You haven't experienced the pain and the hurt of giving yourself away to a man or a person who doesn't even love you. You haven't experienced that. So why on earth could you speak to them in a way that would help them? When you speak to them, you're just putting a damper on it because they look at me and they see a life that was consecrated to God and not of this world. They see a life that is holier than thou and they don't understand where you're coming from and you don't understand where they're coming from. So why would you even say anything? So just keep your mouth shut. And I have for a long time and I've gone to that deep dark place and I've been there and I've laid my bed and cried because I feel shame over a testimony that is not shameful. I feel ashamed of saving myself. That doesn't even make sense. So I am speaking up and speaking out because the God who lives in me is far more powerful than the voice of the enemy. I am speaking up to say I am proud of my testimony. I am proud that I saved myself for my husband because there is no other gift on earth than to save yourself for your spouse. And if you haven't, and if you've already given yourself away, that's okay. Because the God I serve is a redeeming God. He's a God that loves you like you can't even imagine. He is a God that is so merciful and so full of love, we can't comprehend it. And all you have to do is ask, and He'll give you your purity. When you think about not compromising, it's not just not compromising to drinking or the things of this world. It's about setting yourself apart and it's about being different than the norm, being an anomaly, being a deviation, being something that's different and being proud of it. Because we don't have to succumb to the voice of the enemy. We don't have to go down to where he is and lay in that self-pity 
of, oh, I'm different, nobody's like me. Empower that. You are created to be different. We are created not to be of this world. We are created to be separate. We are created to be consecrated to God and to not compromise. It's not about gray. It's about black or white. It's about living for God or not living for God. You can choose. It's all about a choice. You have the choice. God gave us free will to choose. And I chose to not compromise. And I believe that through God and through His power, you can too. Because you are strong, you are loved, and you are set apart to do great things in this world. You should never listen to the voice of the enemy that tells you to be ashamed of your testimony. Because it's great, because it's different. It would be boring if we were all the same and had the same testimonies and went through the same pains and same struggles. That's why God created us so different and gave us testimonies that are so different that can speak to different generations, that can speak to different women, different people, and empower them through the Holy Spirit and through God. I am proud of who I am. I am proud of my testimony. I am proud of the woman that God has created me to be today. The voice of the enemy is still there, and it's still loud sometimes, but I am made an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony, and you can be too. That love don't hold its tongue.